the very first moment of the trailer for the upcoming horror film Hereditary makes me feel uncomfortable in the best possible way. It opens on a miniature house, and then they slowly zoom in to reveal people living inside, until we're zoomed all the way in and it looks like any other room in a movie. We then see Tony Collette's character sobbing over a grave at a funeral, and the camera pans down beneath the earth to reveal the studio's logo, A24. In the next scene, we learn that it is Tony Collette's mother that is being buried at the funeral, and this whole movie is about what we inherit from our parents, the good and the bad. So I think this is a very intentional placement of the A24 logo. I think they put it there next to where the mother is buried, because they are essentially the mother of this film. We now see Toni Collette giving her mother's eulogy, and then we see her daughter sketching in a notebook. This is a very important scene in the trailer, because again, the theme is what we inherit from our parents, and the trailer now goes from a little girl sketching her mother, to her mother making a miniature version of her own mother on her deathbed in the hospital. Then, after a few other disturbing cuts, a woman says to Toni Collette that she recognizes her from her mother. This is a family of artists. Toni Collette's mother was some kind of artist, and she passed it down to Toni Collette, who makes very articulate miniatures, who passed it down to her daughter, who likes to sketch. The only real question is, what kind of art did Toni Collette's mother do? The woman who recognizes Toni Collette on the street has a few more scenes in the trailer, so it seems like she will have a pretty major role in the film. I looked up a cast list on IMDb so that I could find her character name. It's Joan, in case you were wondering. But I noticed something interesting. Nobody in the cast outside of the immediate family has a last name. Now maybe it's just due to a small cast size and I'm overthinking it, but it's almost like the writers are saying in this movie, family is the only thing that matters. To the point that these other characters don't even deserve a last name. The daughter seems to have some sort of connection with birds. A bird flies into the window of her classroom, she cuts the dead bird's head off, even her room looks like a birdhouse. Birds typically represent freedom, so whatever hell this family is trapped in, I think she's the only one that has the capability to escape it. Now we get a scene with the son Peter. Peter seems... out of place. Maybe he's adopted, but he doesn't look like he could be the legitimate son of Tony Collette and Gabriel Byrne. He also looks too old to be in the same class as the other students with him. The first thing that happens to him is he seems to just teleport to school from his bedroom. Then, after seeing his reflection, not doing what a reflection is supposed to do, some unseen force smashes his head down onto the desk. After that, we get a montage of scary scenes from the movie. There's not too much here that I can really theorize on. There's a shot of a miniature of Peter with his head cut off, which could be foreshadowing his death or could just be due to the head trauma he suffered. After the title card, we get a scene of Toni Collette and then a light flashes over her face and she turns into her daughter. I don't think they are literally the same being, I think it's more metaphorical that they are both controlled by their mothers in one way or another. Let me explain. And let me warn you, this is going to get pretty deep into fan theory territory here, so here we go. Throughout the whole trailer, I thought the character of the daughter looked strange, but I didn't really think anything of it, because I thought if that's just how the actress looked, then I would feel like a complete jerk and hate myself. But while I was on IMDb, I stumbled upon a picture of said actress. She's a perfectly normal looking girl. Which means making her look this way was an intentional choice. You could really see it here in this scene. She looks like a doll, or a miniature. And then there's the scene with Peter, where some unseen force hits his face against the desk. It's like something that we can't see is playing with him as if he was a toy. I think somehow Tony Collette's children, and maybe even her husband, are just her miniatures come to life. And if that is the case, then that once again raises the question, what kind of art did her mother do? Hereditary comes out June 8th, and I can't wait. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. And hey, if you don't want to wait all the way until June to get your horror fixed, it's February, which means over on my gaming channel, Epic Ghost Punch, it's February. So click the video on the left to see another spooky video. Thanks for watching. Let's get out of here.